my hometown of Fort St. James this morning and I headed to Vanderhoof to meet with a lady who's going to build me a pair of moccasins. I needed a new pair and I'm hoping that, well, I know because she's going to build me some. I found some that I really liked and she's going to make them in my size. So I'm excited about that. So instead of going home now, I decided to head more west and kill some time looking around while I wait for my moccasins to be built. So I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but we'll see when we get there. This is the cute little trail from my little campsite, my own site, to the lake. And since I can't hold this in video, I will video when I get to the end of it. This is beautiful Babine Lake, and I'm at Grand Isle, BC. I came here once when I was a teenager looking for a job at the mine here, which doesn't exist anymore. This is just a little bay on the lake. It's a huge lake. I just noticed this. This table has a wheelchair spot at the end of it where they've extended the tabletop out so that somebody in a wheelchair can sit at the end of it. I never noticed that before. I wonder if they all have that. Looks like that one does. So I'll tell you the story about Grand Isle. When I was 18 or 19, I was in college and I had a summer between, it was a two year college program. And so the summer in between I was looking for work or maybe it was after I was finished, I don't remember. But uh, I wanted, I, my friend had come out here to Grand Isle to drive the Electra Hall dump trucks for the mine. They're huge, huge dump trucks. If I parked my van beside the wheel, the wheel would still be taller than, um, than my van. Uh, so I came out to Grenelle because I thought that sounded like a fabulous job. And I stayed with friends of friends and every, just for a whole week in this quiet little town with gravel streets and hardly any streets and, and uh, got to know the family, the couple that I was staying with and really enjoyed their company. And every morning I would go to the mine to see if there was any work and there never was. So after the week, I went home. And that's where I'm staying right now, on the lake. You used to have to um, take a ferry across to the mine. I never did that because I never got past the office, which was in town. I'm just wondering if those pilings out there are from where the ferry used to go. Because the mine is closed now and I don't know what's happened to it. I don't know if there's anything, if you can get over there or look at it or what. But I can't because I don't have a boat. Couple of loons out there. Oh, I spoke about the ferry. I spoke about the ferry. I guess that might be it. I'm gonna do a little research. The loons have been really quiet, but maybe you'll hear them on this video. One started making a call and I looked up and there was an eagle flying around and it dove in. I don't know if it was going for a loon or not, but now it's in the water and doesn't seem to be able to get out. I don't know if you can see it or not coming up to that post. I'm just coming out the other side actually. That might be the loon. No, I think that's the eagle trying to swim its way back to shore so it can get out of the water. That's pretty cool. The two loons are back here now, looking that way. I do think they must have thought they were in danger, so that's pretty cool.
Okay, I see it over there. It is trying to dry off its wings. It's a bald eagle. You may be able to see the white. There you go. See it moving? Still too wet to fly, maybe. Trying to take off. It's like 15, 20 minutes since it pulled itself up on the beach. I wonder if it's just trying to get to that bush there so that it's under cover and not so vulnerable while it dries off. Well, <clears throat> I did miss seeing the uh, eagle take off, but it did eventually fly away, so I guess it was fine. So I showed you in a recent video this slider board that I use to transfer on and off my wheelchair when I get into the van. And one day I just set my little cook stove on it. And it's still not super sturdy, but it's more sturdy than anything I have in my van. And it's working really well. So um, even if it does fall over this time, yes, my wheelchair is going to get filthy dirty. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. But I'm not at risk. At least I've totally minimized the risk of a fire if this tips over. And it's just nice being able to cook with a view when I can't be outside. Well, I can be outside, but my phone battery died and I needed to get back in for that. So anyways, I'm rambling. I just thought I would show you how I'm, I'm cooking meals when I'm inside my van now. I like it. Okay, well that's it for this week. I just thought I'd leave you with some video and um, photographs of my time at Grenelle. It was very beautiful and I really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.